when I started to obsess about music, I was real. I was pretty young. I found some Beatle records and and, but I think my next love was Cat Stevens. Like after the Beatles, I got to induct him into the the Writers Songwriters Hall of Fame, and I was I was losing my mind. Were you asked by Cat Stevens to induct him into the Writers Hall of Fame? I'd like to think so. I have no idea. But I, but really? I, but I, I don't know, you know, may, you know, that would be really nice, but he was so nice to me. And then I gave him such a, my introduction was, I worked really hard at my introduction so that when, when he came up, he's like, I what am I supposed to say? But, which was nice of him, but uh, he's, he's, you know, he repeated a lot of what I said and then made it so sound you, cooler with his accent. But when you're singing uh, father and son, one of my favorite songs. And I would imagine that had special meaning to you because your father, you lost your father when you were 10 years old. Yeah. So um, it, it was a really powerful song because it also is about the conflict between a father and a son, you know, so which is normal, right? Uh, but right. but I didn't have that. So I don't know why it it, it, gra- it grabbed me so hard because that was the first song um, I haven't played in a long time, but that was the first song that I, I ever learned how to play. Oh. It's not time to this is you. change. Now, you're playing Just this. Relax, take it easy. Take it easy. You're yeah. still young. That's your the fault. There's so much you have to do. Yeah, and Cat Stevens is watching you play this. Yeah, that, yeah, so that was now, that was. Yeah, that does was that stopped. fuck your head up? <laughs> yes, I mean, of course it does. Am I going too fast? There's the one little burning good thing licked it. I was trying to play, and then the the, the guitar player said he he just he strums the chords, and the other guy plays that. I said, thank God. Well, even after all the years of playing in front of thousands of people, when you see Cat Stevens standing there, now you're nervous, right? Because you're oh, playing God. this in front of them. Yeah. Right? I had... Oh, this is a good part. This is a good part. Wait, well, let's hear you. Oh, and him to interrupt me and sing. You, you didn't want to sing over your, You didn't want to talk over yourself. I know. You did. <laughs> this is me asked, really good. Wait, this is when I get really amazing. No. <laughs> I would have asked. Uh, that's funny. You love this guy. He's one of the reasons you're a musician. And then you're standing there and you're singing his song in front of him. It's got to be surreal. Yeah. That, you know? So that, you know, I that's a, a weird thing about managing to, you know, you know, work hard, but also kind of fall down the stairs or, you know, be a pinball in the world and end up, you know, where I am and where I get to meet all these crazy, like, I, you know, Meet Cat Stevens, like, I would, I, my, my 10 year old, 11 year old self would not, would, would have been impossible. Right. It's like beyond and, my most insane dreams, you know, how many times I wore out like Neil Young's, um, you know, albums and at home, how many times, like those records that I just, and then to be, you know, isn't, talking isn't to him the, and sitting in a, you know, on a bench with him and talking about whatever life. It's just insane to me. When you did this, you did this in front of Neil Young. You did, you did Needle and the Damage Done, my favorite Neil Young song. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. That's another great guitar player, Neil Young. The first time I saw Neil was at Farm Aid live. Right. And he got in front of like, for me, it was like 10, 100,000 people. Right. Just by himself on a chair. And he- That's all he needs. Blew the place, he blew the place apart. What an artist. And I was like, wow, that guy's, who can do that? After you perform that, uh, does Neil come up to you and say, well done, or, hey, I like the way you did my song, or is it, it, it no, or he, is that? No, he didn't, I don't, we, we, maybe we talked about it afterwards. He, but he, I think we, one time I played it for him and, and he, at, um, and he said, you know, thanks, man. Um, but, but, but <laughs> That's he's it? a great, thanks, man. He, you know, <laughs> I surprised him. He, he's a, I love to share the stage with Neil, but um, if, if there was a fight in a bar, I'd like to be on Neil's side because I think he, I think he could definitely <laughs> throw a punch too. Well, he doesn't yeah. sound like he could throw a punch necessarily, but well, he does sometimes. Yeah. But I think I feel like he's a he's a brawler. A brawler. He's a yeah. brawler. 
Yeah, yeah no, Neil. yeah. It Neil doesn't thinks, take shit from anybody. No, I don't think he's going to take shit from anybody. And I think it doesn't yeah. matter. You know, he'd kick the bar stool back and be like, that's it. I'm going to fuck you up now. I think Do that's... you have fantasies when you play Needle and the Damage Done in front of Neil Young? Do you ever have fantasies like he's going to come up there afterwards and say, you know, I usually don't like people's interpretations of my songs, but like you're wanting... No, I, for God, no! I want, I just want, I just want him not to go. You suck, um, you know. <laughs> you, know yeah. you know that would be. Yeah. He could, he could, he, it, he would have the power in his hand um, yeah. to say to destroy me for the rest of my life. He said that. I, I did a Paul Simon song in front of Paul Simon. I couldn't even look at him. What did you do? What song? You could call me Al. No, did you? Yeah. That's the one you chose. Yeah. I'm shocked. Man, there is so many words in that song. Yeah. I didn't, they said, would you do that? You know? And so I said, okay. But I said that, said that before I went back and listened to the record recording. Yeah. I mean, this, holy Lord. I, there's, I, I, there's not enough lung in a human, lung in a human to get all those words in, but I got them in. But that's why I think you're brave. Like, I would not want, I'm not a recording artist, but I do not want to do, you could call me Al. I would want to do Old Friends. You yeah. would have been great. Do you know the song Old yeah, Friends? I would have loved to I, do that one. Oh, there was yeah. a, maybe a couple that I would have liked to do. But then the thing is, then they said, but won't you do, call? you can call me Al? And I was like, oh, okay. And then you I know, did that, and I'm really glad I did it. But I got to tell you, the band was killing. They had a band there that was, they were murdering. So they covered a lot of space for me. And I watched that tribute. I mean, Paul's sitting right there in the front row. I did and not just... even glance down. I knew exactly where he was. I looked everywhere <laughs> yeah. but at him. I was like, hell no. Because if I'd looked at him and he was like, a, I'd, have shit, I'd, have, I'd have shit the bed.